everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Happy Father's Day to anybody that is checking into this video and it is on Father's Day at the time of recording and it is Father's Day at the day I'm uploading this. So if you're watching this in the future, then happy belated Father's Day. And if you're watching this currently today on Father's Day, then happy Father's Day to all my fathers out there and to all the fathers of the people that are fans of the channel and check into MDT every single day. But today you guys will see we got a lot of stuff going on, but the main portion of this video is I want to show off what figure did Mattel send me. You guys know, where, where the hell's my broken ass fiend figure? Here it is, the piece of trash. Okay, so you guys know already, um, we discussed it in the fiend review. You guys already know. In my fiend review, I was reviewing the figure and I was I took it out of the packaging and before I review the figure, you guys know when I take it out of the packaging, I do a short little pose around with it, you know? I don't show it on camera because I'm, you know, I don't want to show that on camera. I want to get the main review points out of it, but I'm off camera. I'm posing it around. I'm trying to get all the things, get all my details done for the review itself. And so when I go to articulate the shoulder right here, I noticed that the arm was stuck. This arm, like this arm would go upward to 90 degrees all the way here and then come back down. This side was completely stuck. And I was like, damn, bro, it won't rotate. It won't move up and down. What is wrong with this? So I did the old trick. If you guys didn't know, if, you're sh if your shoulders are ever stuck, this has happened on many Braun Strowman's of mine. This uh, this has happened. I don't know if it's the torso mold or what the, what the actual deal is with most of the time. Not with mine. This is not the problem that mine had. But usually it'll just be, a stuck joint and you know you can go heat up some water you can use a hair dryer I, I would recommend like boiling water or really hot water you stick the figure in there for 30 seconds to 60 seconds when you pull it out of the water dry it off with a nice towel don't burn yourself because the water will leak down into the plastic and come out and burn the hell out of you it's happened to me so many freaking times but if you take it out of the water that should fix the problem it should be able to articulate there well my fiend Bray Wyatt did not do that Brad I took it out of the hot water and I tried to articulate it and it just would not and to the point I tried tried to force it down and you guys can see right here this portion of the figure right here the little bicep peg that goes down into the arm where the bicep swivel is is tearing in half right there at the seam and come to find out this right here will not pull down like if I push this it, I could literally sit here all day and push this down I could try world's strongest man could come in here and try to push that down it's not going down bro it's completely stuck I think some factory glue got down into that joint and for that reason the figure would not articulate it would not go down and I could figure it out. So I cracked the torso and took this piece out to figure out what the trouble was. And that is, uh, you know, Dr. Wydick Dr. Wydick has gotten to some surgery. He opened up the man and he found that to be the conclusion. And there's no solution to it. The only solution is, for one, I think the regular Bray Wyatt shoulder from a different Bray Wyatt figure is smaller than this. So that won't solve the problem. It'll make your fiend figure look a little bit weird. And uh, the only thing you could do is literally get decals for this color shoulder in this specific size. Put the tattoo on there and then put that in there to replace it and then put all the parts back in there, seal this up with glue and then put the head skull back on it. But I'm not even worth doing that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use it for fodder pieces now. Maybe make a cool Bray Wyatt fix up or something in the future with it. We might could still do some stuff, but this shoulder is completely busted. I even tried dremeling down the joint right there to get it to operate. It's clearly not going to happen. So what did I do? What's the next step? If you have a figure that's completely broken or just useless pretty much that just does not work, you can actually contact Mattel. You can contact Mattel and let them know what happened and they'll give you a case pretty much and they'll investigate it and they'll do their research on it and they will help figure out if they want to send you a voucher or that's what they've done in the past. I used to have, the reason this sting is here is because I used to have the defining moment sting and I ended up having like a bobblehead right out of the packaging. The, the head was about to fall off and it was super bobbly. This was way back when though when I was just into collecting the Mattel WWE Elite line and I got that figure and it was super busted. So I contacted Mattel, the, you have to provide like some serial numbers and stuff on the bottom of the figure. You tell them the case and they'll look into it and I don't know if you'll have to provide proof. I think sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends. But they will either send you a voucher. They'll send you like $25 or $30 worth of a voucher for you to spend at a Target or Walmart or wherever you want to buy a WWE Elite figure. So it's basically like replacing your figure with money so you can buy whatever Mattel WWE figure you want. Or they will send you a replacement figure. So that is what Mattel did. They sent me a replacement figure for this busted fiend figure and you guys know that the fiend figure goes for absurd amounts right now it's obviously in high demand so whatever they send me probably is not going to equal the value of what the the fiend is worth you know i did pay i think 60 something or 70 dollars for both of my fiends from ringside collectibles when i ordered them one of them was perfect that's one this right here i also have that one and now i have the the third one that was busted and you know they're obviously not going to to go after market they have to go based on what a mattel figure is 
worth to them because that's what they sell it for and they're not going to give me you know if the fiends go for five hundred dollars they're going to send me five hundred dollars worth of figures they're going to send me one replacement mattel elite so that's what i have for you guys today and i want you guys to go ahead and put your prediction down in the comment section below of what figure you think it is because i'm about to show it to you and when i first got it i was i was kind of like hey you know that's pretty solid but after thinking about it i'm actually really pumped to get this figure again and i'm going to show it to you guys now so go ahead and make your prediction down in the comment section below on what figure you think they sent me to replace or what figure they chose to replace this fiend figure with that i'm going to put it on screen in three two one mattel sent me the wwe elite 75 hurricane figure not the chase variant this is the regular version so this is the figure that they decided to send me and i'm actually really pumped about it i looked up the worth i think it still is is right at retail price or just above retail price and you can actually find this at walmart and i'm actually really happy that they even reached out to me they were super duper nice the people over at mattel were super helpful and they they responded to me very quickly and they got on my case really fast and they were super cooperative and helped me out a ton and i want to give a huge shout out to mattel you know we got we partner with them all the time with the elite squad and stuff and they're so helpful and they are freaking awesome and they sent out this elite 75 hurricane figure and i'm happy to have it because i actually used my my first version like this to fix up into this weird neon green boot fix up and then i also have my chase variant version which has the white boots which i really love i think i like this one the best and then i have my custom fix up elite using an xbox so now i have four hurricane elites and i'm happy to add the new one to the collection but that is not all i wanted to discuss today i did want to show this off though because i wanted you guys to know how that worked if you guys ever had any issues or anything like that and i'm super happy for them sending this figure out our way it is a beast and i'm super happy with it now again is it the same worth as the fiend absolutely not it's the it's not the fiend you know i mean i, I would i like to have another fiend figure yes but i think it's due to high demand that they really couldn't fulfill that proposal and i understand that you know i'm not a freaking moron but that is not all i wanted to get into i wanted to get into a couple other things not only did i want to mention this figure because of the great american bash figure that we were talking about the defining moment sting i also wanted to talk about a custom that i'm about to do because you guys know on action figure was it appointment or was it surgery where we took my elite 70 Dolph Ziggler and we snapped the damn head off and the neck peg came out you guys can see right here look the neck peg still in there you guys know that happened on action figure surgery i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to torso crack this sting and i'm going to torso switch this torso over to here arms and all head scan and all replace these boots with these white boots and i think i'm gonna acetone all these design or the sting logo off and i'm gonna get some decals and we're gonna make a sick ass like Dolph Ziggler white fantasy attire i think that would be really sick. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that'd be really badassery. The idea came in my head when I was thinking about the Defining Moments Sting figure, and I was like, wait, I have the Elite 62. And then when I saw these pants, I was like, oh, hell yeah, Brad. We're going to do that. I don't know when we'll do that. I got to order decals, but uh, I'm definitely going to be doing that. I think that'd be sick. I'm going to get some knee pads on this guy because I like knee pads on my Zigglers for whatever stupid reason. But that is something I wanted to show off to you guys, and you guys can let me know what you think I should put on the attire. I'm thinking some DZ logos or some Hollywood heel logos or something. I'll come up with something cool and uh, we will put the decals on there and make a really cool white attire. It'll probably have pink in it. I kind of want to do like a white, pink, and black or white, pink, and light blue probably to make it really pop off and putting these uh, white boots on there and painting the outsoles. It's going to be sick. It's going to be a really sick custom fantasy attire right there and I can't wait to get into that, but I was happy when I actually thought of that idea because I was like, oh yeah, bro, that's going to be for this. Gonna, that's going to be sweet, nasty particles. On top of that, I did want to mention not only the fantasy attire, not only the figure that Mattel replaced. Not only the crappy Fiend figure that broke, I also wanted to showcase the updated Bray Wyatt. If you guys want to make like a Bray Wyatt that appeared on the Firefly Funhouse, the pretty much, it's like a mixture of old school Bray and new school Bray. Literally all you have to do, it's a really easy fix up that I figured you guys would want to see. If you have the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt, all you have to do is take the Elite 28 Bray Wyatt, the Hawaiian shirt that came on that figure, put that on the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt and then put the hat on there and then I just gave him the Fiend Lantern because because I couldn't find my other lantern. It's somewhere, but I went ahead and put that together with it. And then, since, you know, Hell's Gate, Bray Wyatt was busted the hell open. So look at this head sculpt now after I've acetoned it. I tried to acetone the blood off, and it got the eyebrows and everything. And I was like, bro, F that. I'm not, screw that business. I'm not going to mess with that. And then now the, the regular Bray Wyatt looks a hundred times better. I replaced it with a, a replacement Elite 54 Bray that I had in my fodder box. And now everything is Gucci, super fire, fly nasty. But that is uh, your updated Bray Wyatt. If you guys want to make an update of Bray Wyatt, that is the formula right there. Very, very simple stuff. I'll probably be using this for a while until I guess 
guess he doesn't do this anymore. You got, I need to have a Firefly Funhouse Bray. I know they're releasing a basic very, very soon. And oh uh, yeah, Clark Kentithy or uh, Clark Kentithy Kent back here or whatever the hell this dude's name is going to be. If anybody can hit me with a good name, I think everybody decided that we're going to use this body and then we're going to be using the Finn Balor body if I can freaking pick the hoe up. We're going to be using the Finn Balor body for his wrestling gear and we're going to be using this suited body for his non-wrestling gear on promos and stuff like that. I think I'll add a tone off this logo here and do something else with it, but I really like this suited body. That's pretty freaking nasty, dude. I, I love this. This head sculpt on this body looks so sick. I love it. But I think that is pretty much it. I want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for the, the great cooperation and replacing my Fiend broken figure with this Elite 75 Hurricane. Huge shout out to the Elite Squad and a huge shout out to you guys for checking in on Father's Day. Another happy Father's Day to you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Just a bunch of informational stuff here today, but I did want to showcase a few things, show off the Hurricanes and stuff like that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. That is going to do it for today's video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.